trivia night. A thoughtful treatise on the futility of life, but in a tea for teen kind of way, so don't freak out. I'm going to ask you a bunch of trivia questions. If you get a question wrong, you have to fight for your life in one of my super fun mini games. If you do badly in the mini game, I'll kill you. But don't worry, ghosts can still win the game. When one player is left alive, we'll go to the final round where the living and dead compete to see who can escape first. Woo! Doing presentations make me nervous, but I got through it. My public speaking teacher, Mr. Temmy, would be so proud. Now let's play. Okay, first question. Which comedian is the king of confetti? Use your device to answer the question. And the correct answer is... Who got it right? The rest of you, you're in for a treat. We're going to play Chalices. All of the safe players have been provided with a poison pellet. Pick a chalice to drop your poison in. Now it's your turn to play. Pick a chalice to drink from. I bought most of these chalices at a garage sale. The first one seems like a real weirdo. Yummy, yummy. Now let's see what everyone drank. So, this is awkward. Yep, you're a ghost now. And what's really spooky is that ghosts can still win the game. I kind of wish I were a ghost. <sighs> Someday. And now, the scoreboard! Wait, that's supposed to be a scareboard! Dang it! I messed up the joke. Uh, just forget it. It's a scoreboard, okay? It's a scoreboard. Here's another one. What is five, mathematically speaking? said this one hmm too easy how about this how long is a fortnight <laughs> and the correct answer is this of you, I want to show you something. Hey girl, welcome back to the killing floor. You plus math equals fun. Answer as many math questions as you can before time runs out. Whoever does the worst dies. Let's kick some math. While you guys are doing math, I've been learning how to fold origami. Today is all about improving ourselves. Only time for a few more problems. Uh-oh. I hope you haunted elementary school so maybe you can learn something. Here's where everybody's at right now. Alright, next question. What was Colonel Sanders' first name? <laughs> and the correct answer is... This one? 
means only you. Let's play a game. Let's test your memory. Everyone gets to play this time. Memorize the pattern. Okay, you've had enough time. And don't get me started on how memorization is a lost art form ever since the introduction of smartphones. I could talk your ear off. From left to right, what was the order of the colors? If anyone does better than you, I will kill you. Pattern, you silly gooses. How did you do? You got it exactly right. Ugh, let's see how your friends did. We'll get you next time. All right, next question. Which of these is the heaviest? Let's go someplace fun. Ugh, look at this mess. This piece of art has blood all over it. Eat your heart out, Jackson Pollock. Memorize the pattern of blood. Okay, you've had long enough. Here's a weird confession, but when I was a kid, I thought Rabbit from Winnie the Pooh was a female. I guess it's because he was a gardener and I thought all gardeners were women. Yeah, it's pretty messed up, but that's what happens when you're taught gender roles at a young age. Anyway, reproduce the pattern on your device by tapping on all the spaces that were red, then press submit when you're done. The person who is furthest from the pattern will die. Here's that art again, and here's what you did. Aw, oh, buddy, was remembering some colors and shapes too hard for you? <laughs> Today's the day. I'm going to look at myself naked in the mirror. I'm not going to chicken out this time. It's gonna happen. Let's try another one. According to Malcolm Gladwell, how many hours do I need to torture people before I become an expert? <laughs> Who picked this one? We're going to play the finger cutting game. This one's a little ooky. Just choose one of your fingers to cut off. It's real cut and dry. Get it? Ah! See, that wasn't so bad, was it? I mean, you have to live with the consequences, but still. Let's try another one. I love the mountains. Throw someone off a cliff and their echo goes on for miles. Where are the Ellsworth Mountains? Who's 
said this. Let's play a game. Let's get artistic up in here. Every little line will be scrutinized. Too cute. Draw this thing as best as you can and press send when you're finished. Now everyone gets to vote. Pick the drawing that you hate the most. Seriously, vote for the drawing that sucks. The votes are in. A tie. Wow. More pain to go around. I should probably make sure I save this drawing somewhere. Well, maybe not yours. I'm really enjoying our chemistry so far. You guys are the Rory to my Lorelei. I've got more questions for you. I've been looking on Etsy to find an antique bone saw. They have lots of cute ones, but before I go on a tangent... What unit describes the power of an electric device? The correct answer is... This one? <laughs> Everyone is wrong! I have a surprise for you. I think it's time for some senseless violence! You can attack someone else. You can defend yourself. Or you could grab some money. And if no one gets hurt, I will still punish someone. Hey, it's five o'clock somewhere. These are the moments I live for, people! Ouch! Hurt much? Those cuts don't look serious. Serious enough. No! Your friends sure don't like you very much. Next question. Let's mix things up a little bit with a picture question. I've been thinking a lot about my legacy. How are people gonna remember me? No, really. How are people gonna remember me? I kill everyone I meet. I know. A child. A child can be my legacy. In fact, this child could. Isn't he cute? Yes, that child will be my legacy. Now, if I can just figure out how to get my brain in there, my legacy can live on. Hmm, hmm, think, think, huh. But enough of this chit-chat. What color were the little cowboy shoes? <laughs> Who picked this? I have a surprise for you! Well, I hope you know how to spell. Use letters to spell the longest word you can before time runs out. I do this all the time for my job. I'm going to hurt the person with the shortest word. Do it now. By the way, the letters don't have to be touching. And don't forget to press submit when you're done. See what you could come up with. This will hurt.
Only one player left alive. Just how I like it. Congrats on making it here alive. Now let's see if you can escape with your body. I'm going to give you a category. Erectile dysfunction drugs. Tap on each answer that fits. Let's see the right answers. You move forward one space for every correct answer. Aww, you have to get answers right to get closer to the exit. Oh, did I mention that all the other ghosts get to play too? If a ghost catches up to you, then they will steal your body. Then they can escape and win the game. Here's everyone's next question. And ghosts get a third choice to help them catch up to you. Difficult creatures with human heads. <laughs> 